Hey buckaroos and buckarettes, it's good to be back with you. And today I'd like to tell you a little bit about how to find the area of a circle. Now, we pretty much all know the area of a circle is pi r squared, right? Or pi over 4 d squared, whichever you prefer. So we learned this, I don't know, maybe junior high school or something. Okay, so we've seen that a bunch of times before. Well, where's that come from? Where's the area of this circle? How do you know it's that? I know, some propeller head like me told you, but that's not a good enough reason. I bet if we can use calculus, we could figure this out. So let's try it, okay? Now just for logistical reasons, it's easier to work with a quarter of a circle, so I'll do that. But you can work with a whole circle if you want. You're gonna get the same answer either way. So let's work with a quarter of a circle here for now. And let's see if I can draw a quarter of a circle. Eh, that's not too bad. Okay, that's the radius. Okay, and all we need to know now is what's the equation that, that curve right there? Well, the equation for a circle is that. I haven't seen that before. So if you want to write this out, you can. Okay, there you go. Now, plus or minus, because the circle goes above and below the uh, x-axis. That's x, and that's y. So that's why that plus or minus needs to be there. And if you want to want to do the whole thing, it, it uh, works out to a whole circle. So if I want to find areas, I'm thinking integration. How about you? Well, let's, I know how to do this. I have a bunch of these little boxes here, and we'll add these things up, because that's what integration is. All right. And that's something called a Riemann sum, R-I-E-M-A-N-N, -N, after a German mathematician named Riemann. So each one of those little boxes is an infinitesimal area, dA. So let's see, let's do this. The area of a whole circle is four times that. So it's four times that area. Well, that area is, you add up all the dA's and you get the area of that circle. And that's how a mathematician would say add all that up. And the reason we use that integral there is because this right here, these are infinitesimally small areas. They're not zero, but they're as close as they need to be. If there's a big confusion about calculus, that sentence right there encompasses it. So, well, that's true without really being all that helpful. If I could figure out a way to write dA in some useful form, that would be great. Well. Let's see, let's go back to one of these DAs here. Let's just look at the first one. The width of that is dx, and the height is that. So let's just write this out. Four, okay, the height, square root r squared minus x squared. Okay, that's the height times the width. Okay, so base times height. Base is dx, height is that. So base times height, that's an area. Okay, so I just want to add a whole bunch of those up. Well, how many of them do I want to add? Well, you don't actually figure out how many you add. You figure out what range you want to add them over. Well, go from 0 to r. If you evaluate that, you're going to get pi r squared. With the 4 there, you'll get pi r squared. Problem is, you've got to integrate that. Ugh. There's got to be a better way to do this, and there is. But you've got to go into polar coordinates. Well, there's just another coordinate system. Remember, physics doesn't know or care anything about our coordinate system. It just works. And anytime we're dealing with a coordinate system, that's for bookkeeping, that's for the accounting, that's for us. We invented that. So we invented this. This is rectangular coordinates. Well, polar coordinates work just as well. They're maybe not as familiar, but there's nothing wrong with them. Let's try that. Okay, let's do this in polar coordinates. Now, same thing, we're going to look at a quarter of a circle. Okay, now instead of going from 0 to r, we're going to go this whole angle here, and that's pi over 2 radians. Now, there's 2 pi radians in a circle, 
and I have a video about how to find, uh, figure out what a radian is. Um, go back and check that out. But radians are the natural unit of angle. Let's draw a DA here. There's DA. But now instead of a nice rectangle, which is easy to deal with, now it's this little pie-shaped thing. Hmm. And that distance there, instead of being dx, which is a distance, well, this is a little infinitesimal angle. So all I have to do now is find an area based on that. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can write this out. Huh. Seen that before, haven't we? That doesn't look too hard. So if I could just write out that DA as something a little more useful than that, we'd be in business. Well, let's see. I'm going to write, take this little triangle and I'm going to draw it over here. I'm just going to lift it out, rotate it, and draw it there. Okay, so there you go. This is, the, this is that infinitesimal triangle. Now, it's infinitesimally small. Well, I don't know how to draw infinitesimally small, so I'm drawing it big enough I can draw it and we're going to pretend it's infinitesimally small because, frankly, I don't know what else to do. So let's do that. Well, there's R, okay, because it's the radius of the circle, so, so far so good there. And remember, arc length is R theta. Well, this angle here is D theta. That means this is R D theta. Let me try that again. That looks terrible. R d theta. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to split this. Now, would you know to do this? Probably not. In fact, I had to try it a couple of times before I figured this out. Well, the nice part about uh, mathematics is people who've come before us have written these things down. So if we have dis uh, problems rediscovering things on our own, there's plenty of people to help us out. We're kind of standing on shoulders of giants. So I'm going to draw this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that piece, and I'm going to take this piece and flip it over and stick it to the side. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Well, that's now r d theta over 2, because I cut it in half. And there's that. I left r. That didn't change at all. So all I did pretty much was, let's see, how, how do you want to look at this? I guess you could say I... Uh, flip this over and stuck it over there. But you can see those two pieces, I can reassemble them to be that. That's okay. Well, that, if this is still DA, this is DA here, and so it is it there. Okay, they're the same thing. Well, let's see. DA now equals, let's see, base times height, because it's a rectangle, R squared, so it's R times R times D theta over 2. Okay. Let's just do that. Let's take this and let's replace dA with that. Because that's, that's okay. If, if d theta equals that, everywhere I see dA, I can write that. That's okay. So let's write it out over here because I don't have a lot of room on my little board. Um, r squared d theta over 2. All right. Well, I can clean this up a little bit. Let's uh, see. That cancels out. That's 2. And r is a constant, so I can pull that outside the... Uh, integral sign. So I have 2r squared integral of d theta. Well, I need some integration limits, don't I? Well, I've got them. R, r goes for, theta goes from 0 to pi over 2. So 0 pi over 2. What's the integral of d theta? Um, let me think. It's theta. So area is 2r squared theta, I'm going to break that out, that's evaluated from, pi, or from 0 to pi over 2. All I did was integrate. The integral of d theta is theta. Kept the limits. We're good to go. And so if you work this out, you get 2r squared times pi over 2. Okay. Uh, there's a 0 there. So that and that cancel out, and you get, well, son of gun. There it is. 
there it is in polar coordinates, and that was frankly a lot easier. Now you had to see to do that. Well, I had to monkey around with a little bit to get that, but I figured that out. And so there it is. In polar coordinates, this is way easier. And now we've shown that the area of a circle is pi r squared. So when some uh, professor or teacher or something asks you to do on an exam, you're going to go, oh, I know how to do this. There you go. Hope this helps, and we'll talk to you next time.